in the unified physics model and what William was referring to before about the space memory, um, that the, the whole concept of time is actually fundamentally based on uh, the premise that in order for there to be an experience of time, there has to be a, uh, a structure in space that actually records the previous moment. And so that we have a reference from where we just were to where we are now, and then the next now and the next now, there's actually imprinting of, of the information of the moment into the structure of space. Therefore, we have a reference and like Ms. Sim says, as we move our hand through space and it's flickering in and out of existence, there's a return back into that fundamental, uh, you know, zero point state where all the information is universally stored and then it is reformed into the next position because it's a feedback loop. And that's actually a process of, of repeating the imprinting of information into the structure of space as what's called space memory. And it's that process that is what Nassim says is the source of we, what we call time. Because without the memory, there would be no, no awareness of something having happened before. And time is based upon that awareness. <laughs> 